Well, welcome back everyone to Speaking for Life with Tamara, where we pour into the lives of single moms. Well, I know I have been MIA. Trust me, it's just because I have been working. But the time is really approaching. It is what, fall? October, November, December, and I am so excited, but I had to take a pause for a second just to try to get ready because I have been so busy. But I know it's always important to take a moment and provide some tips that, of course, that I have used over the years as a single parent, and hopefully some of these tips will, tips will help you so you can get the season underway. So let's go ahead and start with just a couple of things. Um, let's start with children under 18. So anywhere 1 to 18, let's say 1 to 17, because one to, uh, when they turn 18, we, we really do something different. So, of course, as I have talked about, I think, last year, what I always like to do is I ask the kids for five things that they would like for Christmas. And I do it early. I do it now, like October. And the reason why I do it early, you know, no later than maybe the first, second week of November, because I want to give them time to forget about it. Because if you ask them that question, they will be bugging, well, what are we getting for Christmas? What are we getting for Christmas? So I ask for that list. The top five things, tell them they're not getting everything, uh, but you just want to kind of have an idea of what they want. You'll get them a couple of things that, of course, they want, and then that way the rest of the things you can get things that they actually need. So that's what we're going to do with the kids that are under um, say, let's say under 18 years old, okay? So a list of the top five things they want. That way they won't be expecting the world and it gives you a chance to prepare because we don't pay retail. We don't pay retail for anything. So Google is going to become your best friend. So you're going to look and see some of the things they want. You know, you can price everything out. Who's having to sell on this? Who's having to sell on that? What's coming up? Is Black Friday coming? Is that what we call it? Black Friday coming up? If it's electronic, so that means you might want to wait. But what I always do, especially when it comes to electronics, because I really didn't like to buy those for Paige. I let her dad buy those things because I just don't like keep spending my money over and over for an upgrade that seems like comes every six months. So I just don't like electronics. But if you do have to buy electronics or if they are on the list, what I recommend you do is Find out how much they cost at about three different stores. Write the price because one thing I hate is when it comes to Black Friday and then you're wondering, is this really a sale? So you kind of like have an idea. You know, if you can save a couple of hundred dollars, you know, depending on what, it could be $20, $40. For me, a good deal is if I'm paying, depending on what it is, if it's $100, can I get like $40 off, $50 off? If it's something that's ranging in, you know, the $300 price range, can I get it like for $240, $220? So that's how I kind of gauge, you know, is this sale a really good sale, okay? Because like I said, we're not buying retail, but Googling early, just spend a day, you know, getting on Google and doing your research so you can find the best deal because again, we sing a month, we're not paying retail on anything, not clothing, not shoes, not anything. So just kind of keep that in mind because, you know, we're trying to pay as low as we can get because, hey, look, gas is up, food is up, and we're going to talk about food a little later. So we're trying to save everywhere that we can. Um, let's see, moms, and like I said, this is just a time for you to kind of figure everything out because you're looking at your budget, trying to figure out how much money can I spend? What is it going to take? Where can I cut here, add here? Where can I get the best deal? So that's what you want to do for your kids that are under 18. Uh, now, for those who are over 18 or 18 and over, so <laughs> I used to do this all the time. Once you turn 18, one, uh, it's kind of hard to do it if they're your children. But um, especially if they're like uh, nieces and nephews and stuff, that once they turn over 18, if they are still on the list, if they're still on the list, um, I would do a gift card. And I would, okay, where do they shop? I generally will ask the parent, where do they shop? And I get a gift card for those who are over 18 years old. Um, because they are starting to work now, so they're starting to really understand about money. So that takes care of anybody that's uh, under 18, that takes care of the 18 and above, even your children, you know, ask them one major thing that they want. You know, sometimes, of course, for the boys and the girls, I should include them as well. They're now, they want those shoes. Well, hey, they get one gift because sometimes those shoes can be quite pricey. 
So, um, but that's how you can do that 18 and over if they're your children. Um, like I said, they're working as well. Now, what if you are still at work going into the office? Okay, that shopping for folks in the office, those days are done. At least I think so. I stopped it. But what I would do is I would really buy some beautiful Christmas cards. And I would make sure all those that, you know, I interact with all the time, those that I, you know, work with really close with on a day-to-day -day basis, I always make sure they had a nice Christmas card. And to me, that was fine. Today, that's really perfect, and that's good because I think stamps are even getting ready to go up. But I would buy not not just any kind of Christmas card, but I would really buy some thoughtful, beautiful Christmas cards, and that's what I would give to the people in the office. Now, what about your girls? And I'm talking about your girls. I'm not talking about everybody extended. I am talking about that inner circle three to five. And really probably more towards three, but you know, some folks, you know, are blessed and they have three to five of that inner circle. And I'm talking about, you know, those ride or die girlfriends, those girls that you can call up in the middle of the night, I'm sorry, crying, whatever. They're going to pick up the phone and say, girl, what's going on? I'm talking about that group of girls. So let me tell you the best way to get them. I love perfume. Um, I just love things. I think as I've gotten older, the femininity is just like, it's like headstrong right now. So I love perfume. So what you can do, because it's kind of hard, you know, you're spending, you know, a lot of money on all of them because you love them. And if they like you, they probably got really good taste. So you want to get them something really nice. I still think the gift set is perfect. So, um, last Saturday, I was at um, I was at Macy's, but all the department stores are getting ready to do the same thing. And so I went around and I kind of had some ideas, some perfumes that I wanted to check out that I really wanted. And so they have already started putting out the gift set. So, of course, you know what I did? I bought the gift set. Because the gift sets normally have at least two to three things in it. So you're going to get your nice perfume. You're going to get your travel size perfume. You're going to probably get either an oil or a body lotion. Um, and so that is perfect. So now you're getting them something that you like. Okay. So that means you got, you're buying one thing, but you're getting three gifts. And so you can separate those gifts out and give them to your girl. Because let me tell you something, even though you might think, oh, it's just body lotion. No, if you are getting <laughs> a good gift set, I mean, I'm talking about some quality. Um, I think I had purchased a Coco, uh, what is, was that? Mademoiselle? Yeah, Chanel. And um, I also got the oil with it. My God, I did not know how good that oil, the body oil smell and how it stays on you and it lingers. It was almost as good as the perfume. But when I put them both on, oh my goodness, I, I smell like money. So here's the thing. If you can get the perfume, you keep that or give that to someone and then you still have the body oil. Oh my God, you have made out and they have made out because it smells wonderful. And it's not cheap either. So look at some of the perfume sets that you like. I think I talked about some. You probably, they're on a short, I believe. I did um, Oscar Oscar de la Renta. And I did, oh Lord, have mercy, uh, Cartier. And so they both came in a gift set. So now, okay, and I won't tell. If you decide to keep the perfume and decide to give them the lotion or the oil or the travel size one, Listen, even when you get to travel sites, you know, wrap it up and make it look gorgeous. But it doesn't matter if I have the full perfume, if I'm out and about and I'm traveling or I got the travel size. They both are the perfume. They're going to smell the same way, beautiful and smell like money. So that's a really good option. That means, you know, you're getting them something that you love as well. So you might want to consider going to, now you may pay, catch them, um, this, I think I caught it. Oh, a pre-sale. Macy's was actually having a pre-sale. So you pop, you buy it, the gift set, you get 15% off 
and then you had to come pick it up to 28. Well, I did something else, so <laughs> I was I was negotiating. And so um, I actually ended up taking mine and doing something else and I got 25% off. So, but you can catch those pre-sales. So check with the department stores because all of them are going to be having them. So if you could go now, anytime, this is that pre-work, go to the mall or wherever you buy your goods from um, and then check out maybe some of the beautiful perfumes and, you know, maybe this is time you can get, you know, one or two. Um, I think when I was raising Paige and listen, money was tight. And so I could not afford to have so many different perfumes. I think I had like a daytime perfume and I would have an evening time perfume too. That's it. And so I said, when she got to a certain age and I was done with that baby, I was going right back to what I used to do. And I said, I'm... Listen, I'm just saying, Tamara, just get 10, at least 10. Now, that's not counting the lotions and the oils and, you know, the body lotions. Not counting. I'm just talking about perfume. 10 is nothing. You look at some of those women on uh, YouTube and I'm looking at the perfume. And I'm like, and Lord have mercy. One, how much money have you spent? I wouldn't even want to total up, total, total up that bill. Um, but the perfume is unbelievable. But perfume is not cheap. Um... I'm trying to think the last one I purchased and I, that wasn't anything and it was a little over three and that's probably the most money I've ever paid for perfume. So that was expensive for me. I was not accustomed to buying that and to tell you the truth, I'm not that crazy about it. I like it. It's nice, but the way that everybody talks about it, you would really think it was it. Was it. It's good. I will say that it's good, but it is. I don't know if it was worth the 300 but I did like it and I'm like okay I can this smells good and it's fine but I think I've smelled better um, but it was nice so I went ahead and purchased it um, so I'm trying to think okay so that takes care of your girls in your inner circle um, now don't forget holiday season as we're into fall love fall and fall I didn't buy any new decorations. I'm using whatever I had for last year. That is what we're using on this year because I knew I was going to add a theme color. So that means I was not going to buy anything at all for fall. I'm going to use what I have and just kind of mix it up a little bit so it makes it feel like it's a little different. So those are my tips. So please, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, um, hit the bell, and subscribe. Um, and then you also will know when I load up some, upload some more videos because I'm going to do some more because it's the holiday time and there's so much to do and it's so much fun. And with the things that the world are going through, we still want to just enjoy our lives as best as we can. Um, and everything else, you know, God will take care of it. We know we'll pray. Of course, we'll pray. But we're going to leave that in the hands of God and let him handle. He's the creator. There is no better hands to put it in. So with that being said, thank you everyone. Good night. I look forward to talking to you later.